Welcome to Summer Awesome Games. Good looking people, my name is Rob. We're playing the God of. At. Where's he launched? Napalm? Rockets? I can't remember. Whatever we're playing with, we're blowing things up. We're doing a tall vault style. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like. Let's get this video to 100 likes. Support a vault. This is legitimately chance to make this come back okay we're doing daily evolve videos and it's it's all good life is good man this is what we want it's insanely fun speaking of uh by the time this video goes up uh you've probably seen it dragon ball the breakers very similar to this game but set in dragon ball super fun Insane fight. I will turn my headset up as we go. There we go. Okay. Let's roll. We got Torvald. We're chasing a Wraith. Oh boy. Ah, uh, perks that we got on. First one is damage. That's 3% damage increase. Not a lot. But I couldn't decide. And then, uh, capacity and capacity. Because Torvald's orbital bombardment is affected by capacity. The more capacity we got, the more little rockets we fire out, so yippee for us, all right? That sounds good. Yes, launch me, launch me, launch me. We going the right way? I'm, I'm, maybe. I don't know. Yes, good job, good job. We're not actually going the right way. All right, I always love Chucking these things, these discs, these uh, put damage markers all over the wraith. He's gonna hide in the cave. He's gonna grab me into the cave. Okay, gotta get him on him. All right. So Tolo, we gotta switch between uh, our shotgun, hit all the markers, and then this. The wraith is ha had to be the fucking wraith, didn't it? The raid is very difficult for Torvo. Okay, not very di I want to take that back. I should never say very difficult, because there's always someone who's like, nah, it's, you just, just just wait until it does abduction and hit it where it's going to go back to. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, well, I'm not going to abduct it. Um, the Wraith, I would say, is the most difficult monster for Torvo to take on, because of how fast it is. And he, he does not like me, does he? Calm down, buddy. I just want to go up in the air and drop him. He goes in his little cave. If I can get him in the cave, that's not so bad because my little rockets will just hit the roof and do damage directly where I am. So that's completely fine. Oh, he's coming. See, like this, that's where we need him to go for someone else so we can actually do some good. He's not hiding there, is he? He is, is he? Oh, he's in this stupid little hidey hole cave. Come out. God damn it, come out! Look at that, that's a lot. Oh, and they did none of them hit. Get stuff, man, get stuff, get stuff. Shotgun's doing more damage. The shotgun's so unsatisfying. I mean, we do have the markers on, and that's always nice. Eat some of this, buddy. You go back in his cave. Torval shines when he's not targeted. When you know the monster's going. Dome's down, he's piecing out. No, the dome's have gone, oh hell yeah. When you know he's gone for someone else, like say the medic, when you've got a medic that he's just like focusing heavily, aha, uh -huh. Torvald loves it. Go up, go up, go up, drop, 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 drop. Come on, someone's gonna hit. Yes, yes, that's what we want. That's what we want. Took a little time. So yeah, so he'll focus slim. So basically, wherever slim is, that's where I shoot my uh, massive bombardment. That is a lot. That's good. That's satisfying. What I like to see. Now, shock his mouth, bird. God, this game is so good. I went back to stage. I'm gonna call it stage one. Legacy Evolve. Now, I'm sure you saw that uh, Taurus Goliath video by now. And my God, I was wrong. I was so wrong about this one. I was so wrong about stage two, honestly. So I'm sure I talked. I'm sure you've watched it, you've seen it, I've talked about it, but I jumped on Xbox, reinstalled it on Xbox, jumped in, got matches, okay, but a lot of them were uh, TakeOver Bot, 
can do quick play. And quick play is no guarantee you're going to get hunt. Matched up with people who took over bots. Oh my god. Holy hell. It was brutal. I've ne like, I forgot like what it's like to play with just god awful, just terrible, just terribleness. It was just terrible. Thankfully, um, we did get a full match as a monster. Because what would happen is you play around, you take over a bot, and then everyone would quit. So then you just match making again, and then they'll just put you in a match that's already gone. And you just, so you never got a full match as a hunter. And I, I'm honest to God, I thank God, because you wouldn't want to watch it even if we did. So we, luckily we got an actual full match as a monster player. And I think that's, I don't know. Oh, like, anything bad I said about stage two, I take it back, man. I take it all back, because, holy oh, shit. Holy <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I, like, I think I got so used to our custom games, I forgot what it's like to match with randoms and try and play with randoms. But, my God, is it bad. Like, is it stress? Is it just, just bad? Like, I couldn't believe it. That planet scanner, I know I hate it, but I, I think more the ability to dome, everyone to dome, I think is the biggest win for this game. Planet scanner, alright, maybe it's pretty quick and stuff, but honestly, in stage 2, that's probably the longest period we would had just now. Not fighting something, like, that's, that's pretty good. I get it, okay? Oh, I thought he was going for him, I was setting up, man! Stop going for me! Go for someone else so I can actually, like, use my abilities on you, son of a gun! Cool down, come on, cool down. I wonder what's better. Capacity on 12 volt or cooldown reduction? To be able to shoot more often, like his orbitals, or... To be able to shoot more? Probably more often, because you can just, like... Yeah, you know, I'm gonna think about this. I'm gonna think about this. Not right now. Because. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, you go for Jack? No, you just go for anyone. Pick a. Pick, pick a target, man. Stick with it. Alright, it's slim. It's slim. Okay, it's slim. Come on, come on. Come on. Get these on. Go for slim. Go for slim. You know you want it. You know you want it. Come on. Oh, I did it. You did it. God damn it. Hang in there, slim. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there, buddy. He's down. Alright, defend that body. Protect the body, Wraith. You know you want to. Don't let anyone get near it. Don't let anyone get near it. Come on, buddy. He's gonna run. You gonna stick it out? Stick it out? No, it's peace now. Okay. Oh well. I'll get you up. No, the others didn't seem to give a shit about you. I'll get you up, man. Torvald. I love Torvald. I think Torvald was my most fun assault. Just because item switch with him would be good as well. Because you're just constantly swapping. You just like throw your disc, shotgun. I think it's like two shotgun pumps, back into rockets, throw a disc, two shotgun pumps, back into rockets, throw a disc. Like, it's just, he feels like the assault who's always got something to do. Uh, hide, I played arena matches hide, um, didn't upload it because like it was, it was like two minutes, like it was, it was boring. Okay, I get hide is the easiest assault by far to play as, like you literally just throw a gas out and then hold right trigger and get close. It's boring, man. I like this micromanaging abilities. I think that's why I've always like kind of gone towards Tollvolt. I just like, like I always feel like I'm doing something. Even if I'm doing it poorly, <laughs> I still feel like I'm doing it. Oh, he's sticking it. He's sticking it. That's it. We got 20 seconds till the dome's ready, but we even got to be in this. Why does he not like me? Slim Jim, get the seal burst cranky buddy. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Ah, oh, thank god he peaced out. He probably could have taken me. I used my shield and I was all good. God damn. God damn. This is a good game. I think, I like, we have a lot of unlocks to get as well, since you can't buy unlocks. I believe you can unlock them by actually playing and leveling up characters. So there's still quite a lot of perks we, gotta, we can get. So I actually feel like I have something to do in this game. Besides just playing it, so keep your servers going, man. And if they're down already, that sucks. <laughs> I hope not. This is so good. Keep it going. This game could be something. 
I've said it for years. This game came out too early. It's the first of its kind. What this game got crucified for is the fucking standard these days. Micro cosmetics. Standard. DLC characters. The standard, man. Like, you look at Fortnite. For one outfit in Fortnite in Australia, it costs like $30. $30. That is mental. That's half the price of a full game. For a skin. No one bad tonight. People have hundreds of skins. It's insane. This game charged like, I think, three to five dollars, depending on what it was, for a skin. That's not bad, man. I... Yeah, they were great, but not like if they got a bit more crazy. Like that's the thing, they because the game was so fresh, they didn't realize like, oh, you know, we should be changing up the looks of our characters, not just the colorings and, you know. Like, they started to get there, we got like, uh, Cosmic Daisy and stuff looking really nice and all these better skins, but the early days, here's Ralph, here we go, send me up in the sky, not good bounce, good bounce, oh here we go, here we go, yes, you've got a target, you've got a target, that gives me a target, no, are you decoy, god damn it, or clone, defend the body, do it, defend the body, oh my god, you're sticking it out, oh they're sticking it out, Hang in there, I got my shield up. Nah, I got a jetpack fuel. It was all a bad plan. I'm a king. Ah, oh, thank God for that, thank God for that. God damn. How we doing everybody, how we doing? Thank you Slim, for the bug. Everyone on point, I gotta say. This team, I'm digging. I would play with these people again. I get, actually, like, Wraith I think is the most difficult one to the players at the moment. I'll say at the moment, but it's never gonna change because no one's working on this game. That's it. Whatever is in whatever this is, this is it man. So thank God Elder Cracker and stuff got tackled. Thank God. I don't think there really is a monster that's just overpowered. So you're not gonna you're gonna see a variety of monsters when you play hunters. Variety of hunters on the other hand Eh maybe Maybe. We'll always play different hunters. We'll never excel at one specific hunter. you doubling back. I'm telling you, Ryan. You watch. You watch. If you get him over there, I will be shocked. He's here. He's here. I hear him in my headset. Come on, big fella. I know you down there. Three seconds on the dome. I'm gonna get him. There you are. Oh, you're here. You made it. But it is my dome. <laughs> Alright, final fight. Make it a good one. He's got barely any health. He's got to do something drastic here, I can tell you. I'm a channeling. Alright, yeah, you can do that, man. He's not there anymore. You just gonna send out clones? No, you're committing. He's eating. He's eating. I know what he's up to. Oh, I love those whispers. Oh, he's evolving! Hell yeah! That's it, buddy. That's it. Oh, oh, oh watch this. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. I get it, man. I get it. Evolves in domes. Good game, everybody. Well done. Poor Wraith was just getting tracked. It tried to sneak out, but... Not getting past me, man. I know your game. That's what I would have done. Didn't pay off for you. Good dome. I think Jack also like picked up on that as well. So good job for that person. And then we're out. That's it. All the players are gone. That was fun. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.